Good afternoon, guys. So today is your spelling test for spelling list number three. So make sure you have your phonics journal out. Before we get started, I want to make sure that I make a correction. I put that you had to do the foods that the cat banded ate on page 23, and it really needs to be on page 21. So if you put it on page 23, um, maybe just leave page those two pages in between it blank and renumber it page 21, okay? So on page 22, you're gonna put the spelling test. We're gonna do our spelling test on page 22 today. So the foods that the cat banded ate were on page 21, and your spelling test is gonna go on page 22. And just write spelling test for three across the top. And today's date, which is 10-5. And make sure you number your page, numbers one through 10, and you skip a line between each number. We do not have a phrase for today, so it's just the 10 spelling words. And that is really all we have to do today. We're gonna to take our spelling test and we're gonna review our tricky words. And then that will be it for the class, okay? So go ahead and pause and get that finished and then hit play when you are ready to move on, okay? Okay, so number one, our spelling word, and number one is sand. There was sand in my sandwich. Sand. Number two, hunt. Do you hunt for turkey? Hunt. Number three, thin. That stick is very thin. Number four, sang. She sang a beautiful song, sang. Number five is hung. Mom hung a picture on my wall, hung. Number six, thing. That thing is very funny looking, thing. Number seven, sank. The Titanic sank, sank. Number eight, hunk. The deer took a hunk of the root out of the ground. Hunk. Number nine, think. Think, I think I would like pizza for lunch. Think. And your word for this week was the word should. I should call my mom, should. All right, so number one was sand. Number two was hunt. Number three was thin. Number four was hang. Number five was hung. Number six was thing. Number seven was sank. Number eight was hunk. Number nine was think, and number 10 was should. So let's check your work to make sure you got them right. Remember, if you got a word wrong, please just put one line through it and then write it correctly beside it, okay? You do not have to, you do not have to scribble it out or anything like that. Just one line through it. All right, so the first word was say. Number two was hunt. Number three was thin. Number four was sang. Number five was hung. 
Number six was thing. Number seven was sank. Number eight was hunk. Number nine was think. And number 10 was should. Okay, so our tricky words, we're gonna go over some tricky words. Tricky words do not play by the rules. Our first word for today is there. The post office is right over there. Said, Ava said it was her birthday. Said. Says, the weather forecast says to bundle up. Says. And word. Look at the word wall to help you read and spell. Word. Why don't you say all of these with me, please? There. Said. Says. Word. Good job. All right, so part of your spelling test was to take a quiz on Cat Bandit on page 40. So let me show you where that was. And I gave this to you last week. So you should already have it done, but I want you to see it just to be sure. So it's under phonics week seven. There it is. All right, oops, wrong one. So there was your spelling words. Wait, hold on, wrong day, sorry. It's on Wednesday. Here we go. It was questions about the catfish, okay? So you were supposed to answer these four questions about the story of the catfish. And um, this, we're not gonna do this page, so just ignore this page. There's no way that I can do this with you online. This has to be done in person. So do not worry about 22.2, .2, just leave it alone. I think on Cami, I marked it out actually. You were supposed to do this page where you choose if it needs a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point and put it on the end of the sentence. And on this page, you were supposed to add the suffix ing to the words. So those were the three things that you were supposed to do with your test. And here is the story, the catfish, that you were supposed to read to answer the questions at the beginning of this, okay? You also needed to do this page. All right, so that's that. All right, so our wiggle cards today. So stand up and wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then today you're supposed to twist, twist your body, twist, twist, twist. All right, and now I want you to jump. Jump in place, jump up and down, jump in place. And now nod and clap, nod and clap, nod and clap, nod and clap. All right, so though we just went over the worksheets that you needed to do, and that is all of our class period for today. So your learning target was, I can complete my spelling test and other end of unit assessments. So you did your spelling test. You need to go back to Wednesday's activities to make sure that you, um, to make sure that you have finished all the other work that I assigned for you that are part of, there, I finally hit the right button, <laughs> that were all a part of your spelling test and your assessments for unit one. So make sure you have those done. And that is all that I've got for you today. So have a great afternoon and I will see you later. Bye guys.